I am so happy to be back vlogging with you guys. As you guys saw last week, I posted the full bathroom renovation video, which was so nice to get that out there because last year I shared with you guys so much of the process, but I never showed you guys the finished product. So I thought I would start the new year off with that video. And now I'm happy to be back vlogging with you guys. We're starting this vlog off with the bang because I'm actually outside of the vet right now and I have a bag I won't show it to you because you didn't sign up for that, but there is a bag of pony poo right here that I'm going to walk into the vet right now and get looked at because I'm doing a bunch of stuff on the land today. It's been hard to get back into that because there's been a little bit of a tropical storm over New Zealand for the beginning of the year, so there's been rain quite regularly, and today we got a break and I'm like perfect I'm gonna go out to the garden I started weeding and I'm just taking care of some stuff that I need to do I'm, I'm pretty much doing errands in town right now since I'm here dropping off the pony poo I'm doing that just as a like precaution kind of thing with her like she was neglected for a really long time before she got into our hands as you guys know I've told the story before a little bit here and there Alex has a video fully on it on his YouTube channel but she was neglected for a while. It's highly likely that she has some sort of worm because you're supposed to deworm horses regularly and she's never had that done. So I am I called the vet and asked them about it and they said, oh, just bring in some poo and we'll look at if she needs to have a deworming pill and if so, what the strength needs to be and all that kind of stuff. So that's how the day's starting off and then I'm gonna stop by and get her a brush because the brush I was using for her for a while belonged to my neighbor so now I'm gonna get our own I'm kind of looking at this as a resetting of the homestead for the new year just getting some tools that I need some veggies that we need as we move into the new season because we're going to be getting a lot more sunshine moving forward because it is summertime after all here and so I'm really looking forward to that All right, pony poo secured. It's kind of awkward walking into the vet and being like, hi, I have a bag of poo for you, but it's very normal to them. And the funny thing about just like living, I don't know if it's just New Zealand in general or probably a lot of these cities pressed up against the countryside, which is most of these cities around here because New Zealand is the majority of the country is countryside. <laughs> um, but just being able to walk into a vet and get your farm animals sorted. Like they have Lonk on their list, Wolson, and now they have Penny. Wolson's our sheep. It's just, there. it's just so normal to just, in LA, if you would have, they, think they, they don't deal with farm animals. It's just funny that it's just so normal to, for them to deal with farm animals around here. Just the little things every once in a while that still give you like a good laugh. Because it's just so different. Why are the windshield wipers on back there? All right, so I just went into Farmlands and I got, I talked for a while to the lady working there who rides horses, knows a lot about them. So that was really, really nice. I got this brush for her. This is a curry comb as well. So you use this to get deeper, to get rid of like the mud that's stuck in her fur. And then this is to comb her hair. And then this is for her hooves. So we gotta get her used to her hooves a little bit. She's a, a little bit sassy because I think it's because she was neglected for so long or maybe that's why she was neglected. I don't really know. But this is to clean out the mud on the hooves and then brush them out and take care of them and just kind of slowly get her used to having her hooves touched and her legs touched and stuff like that because we had a farrier come out and help with her hooves because they were super grown out because she wasn't cared for and so they were so long um, and the farrier came out and cut them down and he has to come out again but she didn't really want to be touched a lot and so working with her hooves a little bit gently over time will make it so that we can have the farrier come out and it's not as difficult for him or her because then, yeah, it, she just is used to being touched. She just hadn't been cared for in so long that she just didn't want to be touched when the farrier came over. He was able to get her hooves cut 
but not as far down as they should be. So he's coming back out eventually, but in the meantime, I'm going to just kind of get her used to having her hooves cared for. I'm going to head over to the plant shop. I do need to buy an extension cord for our guest bedroom because there are two nightstands next to the guest bed and I need, but there's only an outlet on one side of the room, so I need an extension cord to be able to also have the other light in the guest room on. So I might stop by if there's like a hardware store or like, I don't know. I might try to see if I can stop by somewhere and get one, but I definitely want to go to the plant store. So if there's a place I can stop for the extension cord on the way, I'll grab it but I'm definitely on my way to the plant store. I picked up some lavender for the garden beds that are around the house, because there's one that's a little sparse. There's not much going on. So Alex and I talked about it the other day and I was like, I think lavender would be best there. So they were 30% off and so I grabbed them. I picked up some veg. Oh no, my lavender plants fell. I got a nice little sale on lavender, so I picked that up. And then I got some more little veg to add to the mix and some hydrangeas because we have so many hydrangeas around and there's this one little patch by the front door, kind of like the main area where you drive in that doesn't have any hydrangeas and it's like the one missing piece. So I got two hydrangeas that I'm gonna add. cucumber. It's like once you start pulling weeds, you just keep pulling weeds because there's just, you just keep noticing more and more. <laughs> a tool to pull weeds and it's way better but I'm already here you know using your hands works really well too for those of you who are curious that's one of our water tanks for rainwater it collects rainwater and our house runs on it so yes our entire house runs on rainwater We've got two tanks about that size. There's the other one right there, the tan one. And they've got a UV filter. I mentioned this in my last video, the bathroom renovation video, but we've got the rainwater collector and then a UV filter, which cleans the, the rainwater. So we pretty much bathe in rainwater and then we use two different filters for water that comes into the kitchen that we use for our water. And here in New Zealand, we get quite a bit of rain, so we never really struggle to have water. <laughs> there's always a lot. To the point where sometimes it's like, oh, I gotta take a bath because there's too much rainwater being collected. <laughs> so. That's definitely a blessing. Sometimes you feel like, oh my gosh, it's been raining for so long. But then for us, we remember that we run on rainwater here. So it is a blessing. I'm finally inside the house now. I've been out and about all day today. I'm in the guest room right now. And I did pop by and get some extension cords and a four outlet power board to spruce up this guest room situation and to fix the bedding. I have to put some stuff away like the vacuum and I did a cheeky little, I got like three things from Dish, it's an Australian brand, some summertime looks. So that's exciting. I need to put that stuff away and then I'll show you guys 
what the two nightstand lights will look like once I get them set up. have those look so cozy it is now just about six o'clock and the last thing that i want to do today project wise is this little propagation station i'm going to propagate a monstera here there's a little tiny root right there i'm pretty sure this will be just fine normally i like to go a little bit lower than the node like this but that's gonna work pretty positive because there's already a root there. And then two of these watermelon pepperomias. So I'm going to just kind of dust off the bottom of them so that they're not so dirty. There's dirt at the bottom of them. And then I'm going to grab, I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see better. There we go. Alex got me this for one of my Christmas gifts and I am very excited it's a little propagation station, but it's also very aesthetically pleasing. It's a pretty simple little setup. And I used to have one of these back in the day. I got myself one and I have no idea where it went and I was missing it. So there we go. I'll pull you guys back. There we go. Maybe I'll put the Monstera in the middle because it's the different one. It's a tiny little monster. <laughs> How cute is that though? Oh my goodness. How cute. It's gonna go back on the windowsill. And that is three new plants. And each of these are like, here in New Zealand to buy a monstera, it's like 50, $60. It's crazy, like a, a fuller size one. And same with watermelon, pepperomia. Like indoor plants are very expensive everywhere, especially in New Zealand. So I'm very excited about that. There is my little propagation station. I'll keep you guys updated on the progress. <laughs> 